Hello, welcome back everyone, and thanks for joining me. Today I want to talk about what were the scariest home DIY, home improvement projects that I uh, ever uh, did at home. These are my scariest ones ever uh, that, that I had to, uh, to take on. And um, after you, t you listen to what I have to say and which ones were tough for me or scary for me, maybe you can, in the comments, uh, indicate for you which ones were the, the ones that made you nervous about uh, undertaking. So uh, I purchased my first house at the age of 25 years old. And, um, you know, I had some experience in doing some uh, home improvement projects. Before then, I did some things at my parents' house. I had a small part-time construction job. I worked with my father-in-law, who was an interior contractor doing, you know, uh, walls and partitions and drop ceilings and commercial buildings. So, you know, kind of side work, but I, I had a, a little base of knowledge maybe more than someone else who was 25 years old buying their first house. So anyway, buy my first house in the Northeast, and it was an area that was very cold, so I wanted to install a wood stove. This was scary for me because I had to figure out um, where I was gonna cut the hole in my ceiling, and then going through to the roof, I'd have to cut a hole through the roof for the chimney, uh, chimney pipe, eight inch uh, uh, flue pipe, right? So having to figure out exactly where, you know, marking the spot, figuring out, I hope I don't go, I don't go through the ceiling and hit uh, a roof rafter where the pipe is. So I have to, without having access to that portion of the attic, I had to kind of guess where the rafter was going to be by measuring off from the wall, 16 on center. I mean, some of it was a guess, some of it was just careful planning and measuring, but very nervous about starting to cut through the ceiling and then cut through the roof, okay? Cutting through your roof, that freaked me out because I'm like, oh my God, if I screw this up, now I've got a big giant, you know, eight inch hole in my roof, um, what am I gonna do? So one tool though that, that really helped was using a simple plumb bob and here I just uh, can't find the, the real plumb bob in my garage somewhere, but all it is is a string with a weight, right? So you mark the ceiling, and it goes all the way to the floor and you mark the spot and you move it until you find the spot in the ceiling where you figure you want the hole to be, okay? So that little tool, like something like that, helped me a lot. But um, I'm gonna put a little photo in the picture, uh, photo up above here and show you kind of what I was dealing with. You've got the, uh, the ceiling, you've got an angled roof, you gotta figure out exactly where you might have to cut through the ceiling and the roof so that way the chimney does not uh, look cockeyed, right? So all of that careful measuring and planning was scary for me. That was the first one. Okay, the second scariest, the, the next one that I had to do that was pretty scary for me was, was building a deck onto the house. Um, followed all the, the plans that, uh, not the plans, but the, um, the, the guidelines and the code according to the town based on how far apart the footings needed to be, how deep they needed to be. Uh, but, you know, screwing the ledger board into the side of the house, bolting that in, and, and basically saying to myself, I'm going to create a deck that has to be safe for people to walk on uh, and make sure it comes out right and I don't make it a total disaster. That was a scary project for me. And um, I'm sharing a picture with you now of what that deck looks like today. I haven't owned this house for over 20 years, so who the heck knows what these homeowners have going on there. They painted the spindles white, but that was the original deck that I had built onto that house, you know, back in probably 1993, I think is what it was. That's how old the deck is there. Still still hanging in, and it looks like the original uh, deck boards too, by the way. Um, the, the next thing was we had a dining room that adjoined that deck with a little window, and I decided going to put a put sliding glass doors in so um, a couple days before Christmas it's cold out snows flying and I had the sawzall and I basically cut a big giant hole in the side of the house in the dining room dropped it onto the deck installed the door did it all I mean 
the cutting part and the door, getting the door fitted into the rough opening to seal it off was about 20 minutes. I couldn't believe I did it that fast, but that was scary as hell, cutting a, a hole in the side of your house in the middle of the winter, hoping you're doing it right. Um, yeah, that was pretty scary to me. And I think, I, you know, again, just showed you a picture of, uh, of what those doors look like now from a recent listing where the house, the house is sold like three times since I sold it. But that's a, that's a picture from uh, one of the uh, recent listings. It was uh, French doors. They, they, they looked nice at the time, and uh, they were, it was a really a great, a great project to do. And then um, the, final, the final thing that was scary to me was, uh, was putting a new roof on the house. And um, I had helped out with roofs before. I had done patch jobs with people. But this was, and I, this wasn't a tear off. It was a, it was a second layer roof over. But going up there and tackling that project, doing it all by myself. There were no, I wasn't using any uh, coil nailers. It was all nailing it by hand, carrying the bundles up to the roof, one by one, by myself, on a ladder, and then making sure that I installed these shingles properly so that way I had no leaks in the house. And um, you know, luckily I you know, paid attention to all the other, uh, this, the other small jobs I had done and did, a, did all my research and talked to a few people. I did it, uh, luckily I did it perfectly. I never had a single drip anywhere. Um, it, it worked out great, but it was, a, it was a scary undertaking for me because, you know, again, as you know, if you don't, if you don't do the roof properly, it could be a, a significant disaster in the house. So, um, those are the top four scariest projects that I ever took on. Again, if, why don't you reference down below in the comments, which ones were scary for you? And I'll be interested in reading them and commenting back. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.